I am a chess Olympian player representing the Bermuda team and also a chess coach here in Hong Kong. Today, I will share with you the three chess secrets that have helped my business. Secrets that may help you too. For 12 years, I was in financial services where I could earn a lot and support my family and community. Early this year, I took a break, then COVID-19 hit. In June, while I was serving my quarantine days in Hong Kong, I decided to pursue coaching, even though I'm not sure how I could earn to pay for my food, rent, and APSS fees. Like a pawn in chess, I felt so small. Doubts would creep in. I want to give up coaching. As we say in chess, I want to resign. Then I would hear the voice of my chess coach in my head. Sheila, the game has just started. It's not finished yet. Secret number one is keep playing. Don't resign. Finish the game. To promote my coaching service, I started thinking of strategies. I organized a series of virtual learning sessions. Anna, one of the participants, sent me a message saying, Ate Sheila, you're a blessing in disguise. I need a life coach. Well, I thought this is an opportunity to sell my coaching package. But Anna is a Filipino scholar studying in China. So I thought of the students I help in the Philippines. Instead of selling my coaching package, I just said, keep attending, we still have a few sessions left. Then one day, I saw her post on Facebook. After reading it, it made me feel that this young lady really needs help. I reached out and gave her a couple of complimentary sessions. Our session last week was priceless. She wasn't sure if she would pursue volunteering or continue helping her family through a financial services career. As she found the answer, she started crying and she thanked me for being the instrument. But I thanked her instead. Helping her to reach that decision reminded me why I am in this game. I wanted to help many, not financially this time, but emotionally. That's why I started coaching. Secret number two, know why you're in the game. Know your Polaris. <laughs> so now, let me ask you, how many friends do you have on social media? A lot, huh? I have thousands. I would use my friends' wall to greet them on special occasions. I wouldn't bother to send them direct messages because one hi, hello will take time. Recently, one of my friends was hospitalized due to COVID-19. She was in a critical condition. I sent her consoling messages, but, but via group chats only. Fortunately, she survived and what she shared struck me. I survived because of the direct messages I received every day. It kept me hopeful day after day. It made me think I may have friends that are suffering and my direct messages can save them. So following my friend's advice, I connected with my classmate in coaching and I still can't believe it because that chat led me to a business opportunity. It's like in chess when the pieces are working together for the pawn to move forward and reach the end of the other side. In the same way, when we connect with others, help selflessly, it may lead to opportunities. So that's secret number three, connect one-on-one, -on -one, help selflessly, and you may get help from them as well. In summary, 
In life, you may experience low moments. And sometimes you may feel small like a pawn. But you can choose to be giving. Life is pawn who is ready to sacrifice for the king and other pieces. Once it reaches the end of the board, this small pawn can transform into a queen. And so, when you stay in the game, know why you are in the game. Help others selflessly. You too will receive abundant blessings. All right, ladies Woo! and gentlemen, this is the moment to unmute yourself and give a huge round of applause for our membership talent to Sheila Consino. Thank you also you, make a big wave, absolutely. This is a new way of giving applause, right? Big wave. Thank you so much, Sheila. And I think your sharing is very timely and it's a great reminder because